That's right. What the Holy Ghost said? And Eliezer answered Ishmael. That's why folk don't like this preacher. They say he don't preach. He fuss. You call it what you want. Oh, as long right. as it burn your britches. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's still the truth. Amen. I wanted to burn your britches enough until you run to water and say, baptize me. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. When you feel, when you, when you feel the flames of hell riding on you, you look and run. Pastor Janice. Pastor Janice. I'm going to be like, what you want? Baptize me. Baptize me. Why are you yelling so? There's fire back there. Fire. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Like I got say, you see, I'm from the hood, brother. Where we, we would mix it up, you know. You all right. Glory to God. Now, I don't care how tough you are. Yeah. You let someone throw gasoline on that fella. Amen. And put a match on him. Now, I got a heavy voice. But I guarantee if my body break out in flames, I'm not going to be, oh. <laughs> oh, that hurt. My God, man, my voice going to be an elevator. Ah! I don't, I don't care how clean you are. You ain't going to be on fire strolling. Oh. 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 There's no such thing of burning and you cool. No. <laughs> you ain't cool burning. Amen. Oh, oh man, that, that hurt. That gave me pain. I got third degree. I got third degree burns, man. <laughs> Am I right? That's right. Not that. No, no. Them flames that knock the curls out your hair, and knock the dye out your hair. Yes, it will. They take them fake eyelashes and disintegrate them. That's right. And they take your tattoos and change them colors. That's right. You will understand that you were made for God's glory, yeah. and you gonna realize when the Holy God of Abraham smokes you one day. That's right. What he said. And Eliezer. New chapter and verse again. Still in Joshua chapter twenty-three. Now at verse 24. Follow me. And Eliezer answered Ishmael uh -huh. and said, Surely Abraham did cast thee away with thy mother. Yes. And swear that thou shouldest not inherit anything of all he possesses. All right. And to whom he will give all that he has with all his treasures. <clears throat> yes. But unto me his servant who has been faithful in his house, who has served him night and day and has done all that he desired me. To me will he bequeath at his death to all that he possesses. Yes. And whilst Abraham was proceeding with his son Isaac along the road, Satan came. And appeared to Abraham in the figure of a very aged man. Amen. Now, Satan, Abraham was on his way. That's right. To offer up his son Isaac. That's right. But Satan came. Satan came and appeared. Now, to how Abraham did he appear to Abraham? In the figure of a very aged man. Holy. Amen. The reason why Satan comes to Abraham as an aged man, mm -hmm. because it is the nature of an elder man not to listen to a young man. That's right. But if an elder man talking to an elder man, at least there's an exchange or maybe a consideration of the information that another gives. That's right. So Satan comes right. to Abraham as very aged. A very Age man, he meaning he come with the appearance of being wise. That's right. That's right. Wise and experienced. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we'll stay. And let us remember, mm -hmm. not that Satan is a man. No. But the appearance of a very age, age man. Very age man. Because this age man was the old serpent. That's right. That's right. The aged man was the old serpent. That's right. Old serpent, old deceiver. Yeah. Aged man represent he's a master of deception and he's been tricking, conning, manipulating, seducing for years. Aged man, old deceiver, right. old liar, old trickster. That's right. That's right. Oh, it's a car. Satan came. Satan came and appeared to Abraham. Appeared to Abraham in the figure of a very in the aged figure man. of a very aged man. Humble. <laughs> Amen. Humble. Now he come imitating the character of Abraham. That's right. Abraham was a humble man. Humble. So Satan come in the image mm -hmm. of humility. That's right. In other words, whatever it takes to get your confidence. Yeah. Huh? 
Whatever it takes to get your confidence before I destroy you. That's right. Uh -huh. And appeared to Abraham in the figure of a very aged man. Yes. Humble. Humble. And of contrite spirit. And of contrite spirit. Amen. Now he appears to have the same spirit of Abraham. My Lord. Not a contrary spirit. Contrite. Contrite. Like contrite. the Bible talk about a book. In a contrite heart. That's right. Listen. And he approached Abraham. Now he approached Abraham. And said to Everybody him. who claimed they're your brother or sister may not be your brother or sister. Sure. In other words, this shows you that even the devil can place people in your life yeah. that appear yeah. to be your brother and that appear to be your sister to get close enough to you to stop your journey towards the kingdom of God. That's right. And That's right. Glory to God. Do you see this? And he this is so beautifully outlined. Oh, yeah. Come on, son. And he approached Abraham. He approached Abraham. And said to him. And said to him. Art thou silly or brutish? Mm. That thou goest to do this thing to thine only son? Look. He come old. Looking wise. A humble appearance. Humble. Contrite spirit. That's right. But his message mm -hmm. is against the will of God That's right. to get Abraham to rethink what he's about to do according to God's will. That's right. And that's all the devil wants you to do is rethink. Reconsider that you want to be saved. That's right. That's what the devil will hear. You want to repent of your sins to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and get on God's side. So the devil will send someone that's your age, of your generation, to cause you. Uh, look, man, come on, man. We had some good times together, man. Yep. I know you like to hear that cat, Pastor Dennis, but come on, dog. Amen. Look, man, I'm saved too. I'm saved. I go to church, dog. Yeah. I, I still smoke. Look at me, dog. I still do it. <laughs> go ahead, man. The devil send one of your friends you haven't heard from a God knows how long. Or send your mother. Or send your sister. Or send your cousin. Yeah. The devil send anyone or anything that it takes as a distraction That's right. to keep you from offering yourself to God. That's right. Wonderful. Are you listening? Wonderful. So this did not exempt the prophet Abraham. That's right. It doesn't matter to the devil that Abraham was a prophet. No. The devil don't care. What the devil don't want out of us is cooperation and obedience to God. That's right. And to keep us from cooperating and to keep us from obeying, he will come as us, mingle with us, associate with us, eat with us, dine with us right. until he gained the confidence and then put you to death or discourage you from doing what God say you should do. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. He don't care you speak in tongue. Amen. You shout, he shout. He'll out shout you. Or he'll clap so you can don't lose rhythm. Amen. You out there shouting the devil out there. You act like you in the spirit. Huh? Glory to the devil. Like, hey. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Do you hear this? Satan came and appeared to Abraham. Glory to God. Satan came. Let us not forget. Satan came. Yeah. And appeared to the man of God. In the figure of a very aged man. This goes to show you that not even Satan want a man of God to stay on course. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not even Satan want a man of God to stay on course. That's right. So a man of God is even subject to get distracted from the will of God. Amen. 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 Wonderful teaching. Are you listening? Wonderful Amen. teaching. Hallelujah to God. Come Sa on, son. Satan came and appeared to Abraham in the figure of a very aged man. Yes. Humble and of contrite spirit. Mm -hmm. And he approached Abraham and said to him, All right. Art thou silly or brutish? First, he wants to belittle him. Yeah. Are you silly? Mm. Aren't you brutish? That thou goest to do this thing this day to thine only you son. You gonna go and go offer up your only son? For God gave thee a son in thy latter days. Wait a minute. Mm. Do Satan not use truth mm. to get you to go against God's will? That's right. 
That's right. But he used truth and manipulate that truth. And he present truth in a different manner from what God presented. That's right. Truth with the evil intent is the manipulation of truth. That's right. Like these television preachers. They use the Bible with the money making intent. So they read scriptures of truth. And then handle that truth deceitfully to make you think the only way to be saved is to be broke. That's right. The only way to get to heaven is to give God all your money. Yeah. Or your great blessings in life is when you got a Rolls Royce and a mansion. That's right. Your great blessings in life, true prosperity, as I often say, is not money, it's not houses, it's not land. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. Right. And when you learn who God is, God will teach you who you are and what you should be and what you should not be. That's right. You can have enough money to you fill this room. If you walk in this life without God, all your life is in vain. That's right. Come on, son. For God gave thee a son in thy latter days. God gave you a son in your last days. In thy old age. In your old age. And wilt thou go and slaughter him this day? Mm. Satan want Abraham to think what was Satan doing planting seed planting seed so Abraham's thought process can be around that food for thought that's right to derail him because he was going to offer up Isaac and Satan did not want Isaac to be offered and did not want Abraham to obey God. So what's the best way? Come as someone age like him, mm-hmm. with the appearance of wisdom like him, right. but yet subtle of heart. That's right. Uh-huh. For God gave thee a son in thy latter days. Yeah. In thy old age. Uh-huh. Wilt thou go and slaughter him this day? Will you go kill him? Because he committed no violence. <laughs> he didn't do nothing, Abraham. And wilt thou cause the soul of thine only son to perish from the earth? Now he want to make Abraham feel bad of his agreement and his pact that he made with God. That's right. He wanted Abraham to not look at it as a sacrifice, but look at it as you about to commit murder. That's right. That's right. Satan... Don't want you to look at this as the church of Jesus Christ that's offering you eternal life based upon the laws of scripture. That's right. Satan said, it's a cult. That's what I'm saying. That's right. It's a cult. You got to give up your second wife. You got to give up your second husband. Oh, man, that's a cult. We can't live together no more. We ain't married. No. Oh, man, you know that's a cult. We can't smoke. We can't drink. Wait a minute, honey, I can't wear pants? No, you can't wear... Why? What? Oh, 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 oh. God said he accept me like I am. God ain't never told you that. That's right. That's one of them scriptures that came from out of a, a, a Bisquick box. Amen. Huh? That's one of them homemade scriptures. A false prophet shook it out of a Bisquick box, put it together. Oh, God accept you where you are. Ain't no Bible said that. Amen. That's right. If God accept you the way you are. Why he preached change? Amen. Why did the Bible preach change? Amen. He told the apostle, when thou art truly changed, when thou art truly converted, he don't accept you the way you are and remain that way. You got to change. That's right. You may come to him one way, but when he's done with you, he's going to have you another way. Another way. That got to be some change. Amen. Mm-hmm. For God gave thee a son in thy latter days. Yes. In thy old age. Uh-huh. And wilt thou go and slaughter him this day? Yes. Because he committed no violence. Yes. And wilt thou cause the soul of thine only son to perish? Uh-huh. Pro- from the earth, doest thou not know and understand what that this thing cannot be from the Lord? Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Do you hear this? Doest thou not know and understand? This is where many of us mm-hmm. have failed. Amen. We have had dreams, yes. ate something heavy at night. That's right. I had one of them bean dreams. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bean dream. Dream that come from an overdose of beans. Black eyed pea dream. 
Somebody else come to you with a dream. The Bible said a dream come through the multitude of business. Because when God brings something, he don't contradict his word. No. It's according to his word. Right. But don't take a dream and try to make it his word when it ain't got nothing to do with his word. That's right. Look at what Satan said to the man of God. Doest thou not know and understand? That this thing cannot be from the Lord. That's what people have told me about this great work. True. And all these thousands True. repenting of their sins, going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And many are saying this, this that stuff Pastor Jen is doing can't be of God. Be. Well, I have to say like Nicodemus said, no man can do what thou doest except God be with them. That's right. I mean, I'm not bragging in myself, but I'm glorifying God in me. That's right. And ain't nobody can do what God have me doing unless God be with him. That's right. I had one man write me and say, well, look, why don't you just step down from the pulpit and let me take over? This is after we doing the work. Lord. One of them hitchhiking preachers <laughs> Amen. Who just want to jump on board And take the credit You got people like that Lord. They see you do all the work by God's permission They, they want to jump on board and take the credit That they ain't did nothing in That's right Amen. So just like the devil Tried to derail Abraham mm -hmm. The devil is trying to derail me yeah. And the devil is trying to derail All them that believe The truth of the gospel That's right Amen he don't want you to be in the truth of God. No. You that are listening to me now that's in Australia mm -hmm. and throughout America and Canada and Europe. Thank God and throughout all of Asia and Africa and the devil don't want nobody no. that want to be right with God to follow the truth of God message. That's right. He don't want it. No. Oh no, he don't want it at all. Oh, I no. think of the man that wrote me a letter and said, Pastor Jennings, why don't you just go somewhere and die? He said, just die. Die, 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 die. Then he wrote, are you dead yet? He said, die. He said, nobody wants to hear that so-and-so M this, MF that, and that, the other stuff you preach it. You can complain about me all you want. But when you hit the lake of fire, oh, yeah. hell will convert you quicker than we're doing. That's right. My boy, listen, when hell open up and you start to descend, you're going to be so humble. Yes, you're going to be so repentant. Yeah. But it's going to be too late. That's right. Lose your pride. Lose your arrogance. Mm -hmm. Understand this. Without God, you're not worth it. Anything. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. What did the holy book says? Do thou not know and understand? Do you not know and understand? That this thing cannot be from the Lord? Now, is that woman telling you this, brother? Yeah. Sister, is that man telling you that? Amen. Sister, are you telling him, hey, look, Freddie, look, we don't need for us to keep sleeping together, living together like this. We're not married. You know the man telling the truth. Freddie, is Freddie getting upset? Mm hmm. Hmm? It's Freddie telling you, well, what you want me to do? What you want me to do? Come on now, baby, baby. You know I love you. Come on. That's right. Huh? That's right. But what Freddie, <laughs> what old Fred wants you to do? Fred. You got to give Freddie up. You got to give up Paul and give up Peter. You got to give up Mary. You got to give up Pauline. That's right. You got to give them up. Yeah. And you got to accept Jesus above them both. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, yeah. I know what we're telling you may be hard. Oh. Well, Pastor Jenna, the church I go to, they say Jesus is love. And what happened? I don't hear you talking love this afternoon. Something is wrong with that message. Pastor Jenna, where is your love? <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says God is love. Yes. And when I bring you the word of God, I'm bringing you the love of God. That's right. And real love don't always agree with you. That's right. That's right. I know my father, when he was living, loved me, but he still took that belt and broke it over my behind. <laughs> Amen. And when that belt was blessing my backside, it didn't feel like it was love. But now as a grown man and look back, and I reconsider the things, my God, if I had to do it all over again, I would. That's right. Love and pain go together. Amen. 
Are you listening? Oh yeah. 